So how long have you had this gym then, Josh? We've been here basically, basically a year. You know, it was still a working men's club, so we had to do all renovations, change it all around, really, from a working men's club into a boxing club. So yeah. Because you remember you did all the toilets, didn't you, and everything? Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. We did 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 everything. Um, we come in and, and changed it really from, from a pub to a boxing gym. It's been a great success. It's and we've got a waiting list on everything from kids to to boxing to me 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 business that I do squad box uh, yeah. with me with me friend from next door. So yeah, it's good, Paul. Mm. And how many kids are in here at any one time? Um, we've got twenty carded boxers. Twenty carded, you know, okay. yeah, yeah, registered amateur, boxers. Yeah. yeah, amateur. Uh, obviously, I've got five percent professionals. I've just signed. Yeah, um, we've got kids all the way up from five year old to sixty year old. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, it's for everybody. There's, there's something that happens in here for everybody. You know, if you're wanted to box, obviously that's what we first and foremost are a boxing club. But fitness, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well being, it's all in here, pal. Yeah. And obviously, you got a screen up there, and that every time I come in, your dad's got Agler Earns on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got. He's uh, still yeah, got it on, hasn't he? Is that Tommy? Yeah, he's still got it on. It just, just reruns uh, what we've got on. Figure, yeah. So all good, pal. Got some good stuff in him. Do you get any women coming training? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, yeah. yeah well, we, well, to be honest, I do a girls' class on a Monday, four o'clock as well. That that's busy. Yeah, we just charge them a pound to try and get girls involved with sport. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that's full. There's a lot more girls coming into boxing now, and that it's good to see isn't it. They should do. They should have the same opportunity than a lad should have. Yeah, yeah. I think that's brilliant. And that. Let's have a look at this chair here. This is your dad's chair, isn't it, Josh? Yeah, dad's chair. My dad has a. That chair is. He's not be allowed to sit in it. No, we've done sitting that all year. That's me. That's my dad's chair, and uh, he oversees everything. What's going on? I. Uh, I only listen to one, one man, and that's my dad. He, if he's got something to say to me about how I'm training somebody or how I'm, uh, how I'm doing stuff, he'll tell me. That, that's the way it is. Um, you know, I've always... My dad's trained me, so I'm training them all the same way he trained me. So, yeah, he oversees everything. He needs gaffer. Always a bit gaffer. I ain't got no rope down, Josh. You know, I'm just going to do it off cuff, so here we go. Why boxing? Why boxing? It's all I've ever known. Um, yeah. My dad, well, he boxed in army, come out army, set a gym up. Um, my older brother, were a national schoolboy champion. Um, I always wanted to chase him, like I always wanted to be him, really. So yeah. um, I've not really known anything else except for boxing. Um, boxing being everything to me. Uh, since I since I can remember, all I've ever wanted to be is British champion. Um, Obviously, my dad's coached me all my career, um, and yeah, I've, I've not really known anything else, Paul. And who did you turn pro with then, Josh, as like a promoter? And yeah, so manager? I turned, my first manager pro was John Rushton. John Rushton, yeah. Yeah, John Rushton, Dave Caldwell, um, Tommy Gilmore, Chris Aston, <laughs> Carl Greaves, Steffi Bolt, Dennis Hobson, yeah. And obviously you're managing yourself now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional manager. That's what I've um, I got uh, back in December. I just got my mm. professional manager's license. I've got five pros now, so yeah, everything's going good. And who are, are, are pros that you're managing now, Josh? So obviously my brother when we first signed in Dempsey. Yeah. Um, I've got Red One, uh, a good good level amateur who, uh, who I expect big things are. John Paul, um, one of those amateur lads who we've got. I've got Billy Allen from Barnsley, who we've signed over. And I've got Paul Scaff. Yeah. Uh, so you're building a good little stable yeah. there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I will. And, uh, Can you see yourself promoting, Josh? Yeah, in, ta in, in, in time, time. Yeah, in time. I I'm busy. I, uh, I set a company up with me, with my best friend uh, called Squad Box. He he's got a gym next door. Uh, that's like bringing boxing fitness to the general public. Um, yeah, I'm really busy with, with other stuff that I've got. And obviously, your younger brother Dempsey does the food, doesn't he, next door, but one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Healthy eating. Yeah, he's got food prep. Um, he does all that, yeah, so brilliant, yeah. yeah you're all boxing minded, aren't <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you've got three kids, Josh. Yeah. They're all boxing now, aren't they? What ages are they? Yeah, so Mikey's seven, 
Jack's five and Jacob's three, just turned three. Yeah. And they all got their own gloves. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the, the, anybody who, uh, we, who got me on social media, the, the boxing mad. But you know, it's one of them. Uh, people think, oh, you, you know, I, they, they, they love, they loved you, and they like how I used to, I used to cry when my dad used to tell me to do and that same. So I don't know, um, I don't think I'll be able to stop him. Uh, and Marcy, he's uppercut man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? How, yeah. Is that Gwyn? Gwyn's lad, yeah. So Gwyn's got four lads as well. So. How old is he, Marcy? Yeah, Marcy's eleven now. Yeah, he's at Jimmy oh, every every session. So, so your dad's your dad's got three lads. You've got three. Yeah. Gwyn's got four. Yeah. There isn't a girl inside. No, no. But if ever there is, boyfriend's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, well, you'd have to go for all. <laughs> you'd have to stand up to all seven first, wouldn't you, yeah, to yeah. Uh, get a date? Yeah. yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years, Josh? Um, Still see yourself fighting? In five years? Probably not in five years, to, mm. to be fair. Um, you know, you've got, you've got to be realistic. And, you, you know, one thing that me and my dad are, we'll, we'll sit down and, and we'll discuss everything, what we go. Yeah. You can't, you can't, 35 year old, think you can get him ring and compete with a young, fit 25 year old kid and chase yeah. him around. I mean, you know, it's it's one of them, you know. Time does catch up with everybody, but I'm, you know, I'm immensely proud of my career, what I've done. Yeah. Um, you know, for everything I've won, all the way through my career, how I've conducted myself, the mm. respect I've got, I've I've dedicated my life to boxing. You know, mm. and it's um, it's times where you don't think it's going to come. You know, yeah. when I drew for British title, and I just missed out to it when really. You know, a few people thought James Dickens should have been thrown out. He had two points off for, for, for holding. I had to rebuild then at 29 to then finally get British title in my third attempt. You know, there was no way I was not getting that British title. I promised mm. my dad that since he's been since I've been eight years old. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to live myself if I didn't win in British title. You know, and I was, at that level, you know, I knew I could have been British champion. I should have been European champion. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But... Um, no, I knew I was at that level. I just needed, sometimes you just need things to go your way. And um, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself if I didn't win him that. And, you know, giving my dad that he, to train to train me to be British champion, everything we've been through. Yeah. You know what I mean? My dad got diagnosed with cancer when I was 16. Mm. You know, he got 15% a chance of living within five, you know, for five years. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like we've gone through everything. Um, you know, we've had to, people don't understand what we've been through. When I was 16 year old, you know, I thought, my dad said, that, that's it, you're going to have to go and find yourself another coach. And I said, Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing no without you. Mm. You know, like, Josh, I've, I've, I've got this, what, what we're going to do? I'm like, we'll do it together. And we have, we've done everything together. And your dad's been battling cancer 17 years. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. You know mm. what I mean? The, 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 he's, he's been 15% of the cancer what he's got to live above five years. He's only yeah. 17 years, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's the strongest man I ever know. I, I ever know. He's, he's my hero. I, yeah. I, you know what I mean? People see him when he's got his head on his bill cream and he's trying to put a, you know, people, he puts a smile on it, but you know, there's been really, really hard times and we've been, we've had to go through that. Well fighting the best kids at my way, away from home. You know what I mean? Me and my dad's struggling, like, in stuff we've been through, even, even, even when when you, when you think just getting to a venue, and me trying to look after my dad, to make sure he's all right, him trying to look after me, it's just being us two. When I when I do eventually retire, and um, you know it's all about, I've got to fight one man, because it's just been it's been one man mm. in my boxing career. He's decided every he's made every decision we've ever made, and I only listen to one man. That that's all I've ever done, and you know I've got it all to all to him really. Yeah. Uh... You've won titles at three different weights, haven't you? Yeah. And you've had, is it 20 odd title fights? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good career, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've had a good, we've, we've had a good, we've had a good run. Um, and we've enjoyed it all. Oh, people think, when I set off as an 18 year old, they all said, he'll not have a long career yeah. fighting the way he does. He fights with his face first, he gets cut too easy. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I feel I feel brilliant that you know what I mean yeah. it's like it's just a stigma what you get it's yeah. listen it's been my career's been easy 
Yeah. Going through what my dad goes through every day, day in, day out, that, that's yeah. hard. I used, to, I used to laugh when people say, oh, it's hard, it's easy. Boxing to me is easy. Mm. I could get gloves on now and do 12 rounds, no problem. That boxing is just second nature to me. That, that, yeah. That's how it is. People go through a lot more than an hard fight and a bit of a cut and, and stuff like that. that. That's just, you know, it is what it is. Mm. Do you feel that the British title, Josh, has lost a bit of kudos in recent years? No. To all these other belts? No. No? British title will always be special because the border control make it like that. Yeah. You oh, can't, I know. I know. I didn't mean it like no, that. No, no. no yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're like, yeah, it has because obviously you get people going for your WBA to, yeah, yeah. That, that, in that way, yeah, yeah, but the kids who win the British title, yeah. they've got to be approved, uh, approved by the board yeah. and the, the two, two big, biggest contenders fight each other. Yeah. You, can, you, can, you can have your career and do whatever you're going to do, but if you don't win the British title, you always regret it. Yeah. The way it'll be a boxer said to you, you know what I mean, I don't regret not winning the British title. Unless they're Irish or Scottish, you know what I mean. Yeah. I, I think the British title for for an, that that's the biggest biggest achievement you can win. Robin Reed regrets not get, having a British title. Yeah, yeah. He regrets it. But he didn't do by winning a world title. Did no, he? no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only but, joking. Yeah. <laughs> you did all right. No, but uh, I just feel that too many people nowadays want. I'm not going to mention no names, but they want to bypass the British title. Yeah. I think it's quite insulting towards the heritage and that. Yeah. You know of it. Yeah. Uh, you've heard that story that I tell uh, about Bruce Woodcock in Edlington, where, where obviously yeah. I grew up. He used to go into Tumblr, and people, this is years after he won it, they said, mm. Stand up, and everybody stand up and clap. Yeah. Stand up, why? British champion just walked in, and it yeah. was a big thing in, you know, yeah. in 40s and 50s and that. Yeah. And to certain people from that era, it still is. Oh, yeah. look at him, he's a British champion, do you know what I mean? And yeah. What has he won and that? So. It's always going to be on your CV, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. And it's I've, something for archives, isn't it? Yeah, to be a British champion, to me, me, me as well, that, that's, that's pinnacle. I mean, some, some kids, it, it's like an Olympic title, isn't it? As, as, you know, as an amateur, you want, to be, you want to be ABA champion and you mm. want to be an Olympic champion. Yeah. To, to be a professional, you want to be a British champion and be a world champion, and that, yeah. that's where it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You've, you've obviously sparred a lot of people over the years. You, you've been in with some at best. Uh, who's the biggest puncher that you've ever been in ring with, sparring-wise, and in a fight? Um, Felix William. Felix William. Is that yeah, the guy yeah. that's 20, 28 and old guy? Yeah, 28 yeah, and yeah. One with? He, had free, he had freakish power, like. Mm. Yeah, his technique wasn't, wasn't the best I've ever been in with, but he had freakish power. Was that the IBO belt? Yeah, 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 the IBO. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've been in with some... Some, some really big Did he clip you early on, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were yeah. that second round? Yeah, yeah, he got me a couple of good ones. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. I, I, I'll give him that. He could, uh, yeah, I, I, you had to be switched on. But I've, I'm lucky. I've, I've never been put on my ass ever, mm. amateur or professional, yeah. you know, all my career. And to Not set, even inspiring? No, no, to set level. No, no, never, never. And to set level that I've completed it. Mm. Uh, you know, it's it's a good it's a good thing mm. to have. Mm. Um, yeah. Who's most trickiest guy that you have fought sparring and in in a, in a fight in, in professional ranks? Um, I don't know. The, the, Technician the, sort yeah, of yeah, type. Yeah, been some good. I've, I boxed some good kids. I I don't know. I won't like to. You know, take one away from from others. Yeah, yeah, from others. I've been, I've been in with a lot of good kids. Mm. Haven't I? What uh, what's plans for you fighting again, Josh? Are you just waiting to, for an offer? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it'd have to be it'd have to be right kind of offer at this stage of my career. So you're thirty three now. Yeah, thirty three. Uh, yeah. I've won everything I've wanted to win. Um, you know, until crowds are back, really for me, it's not really it won't really be financially worth 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 getting back into the ring. You know what I mean? It's got mm. to be. Um, I want big fights, you know what I mean? It's got to be, it's got to be worthwhile financially and to, for a, for a title that I want. It won't be, I won't just, you know, it's pointless doing an eight to ten round. I mean, you know, it's got to be a championship fight for a meaningful title for good money. Yeah, and that that that's that's what we want. Mm. What do you see happening uh, with current situation with boxing? Do you feel that Joshua and Fury will, will, will ever happen now, or do you think it's gone now that? 
I don't know. I, I were hopefully we're good. I think I think it's been closest this time. It's it's been changed the number. I think if they can't agree with it this time, I, I don't think it'll happen. No. No. Too many too many people involved. Yeah, involved and pulling it wrong night. Yeah, too I many cooks yeah, spoiled yeah. the broth, Josh. Yeah, you? that's it. Yep, definitely. Who wins, Usyk or Joshua, if they fight? Uh, Joshua. Yeah, yeah too, too big. Too big, too strong. Yeah, Usyk is, is brilliant, isn't he? But it's a cru- it's a cruiserweight. Mm. They were awesome, but as an anyway, I just don't, I just don't think he'd be big enough for somebody like Joshua. Don't get me wrong, he's an awesome technician. Like he's really good, but that, that heavyweight, you know, you, you're heavyweight for a reason, aren't you? Mm. Over four, all over forty and four, it's like the big lads and Joshua would be too big for me. What uh, what's happening with this here, Josh? Because you've got a, a beautiful gym now. You've got a brand new ring in here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, you're very busy. Seven days yeah. a week, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? How do people get to join your gym and that? And how they go about it? You've yeah, got a website. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Mickey's Athletic Boxing Club. Uh, we fault everything we do from from kids we call them mini outlaws to as beginners to as boxing class. So it's boxing fitness, to my piece, everything, everything's busy. We've got a waiting list on everything. Since we've come to Brampton, we've really, you know, it's just excels. We, we, we can't, it's not, and I hate turning kids away, so we've got a waiting list now. Everybody will get the chance. Uh, we're just that busy, we're that busy all the way through. We do free kids, free lessons for kids who can't afford to pay yeah. subs. What, you don't charge them? No, right? no, no. What day is that yeah, on? Yeah, that's on a Friday. Yeah, but to be fair, any kid who comes into a boxing club who can't pay, they still train. Everybody, yeah. everybody trains. Should we say that you'll have no real pay yeah, around here, no, no, that, that, That's motto I've got off my dad. Yeah. My, dad's, uh, my dad's done that for years. You yeah. know what I mean? That's respect that he's got of people. I'm training kids who my dad trained. Yeah. Uh, sons and daughters, you know, who, you know, and that's respect. Mm-hmm. Whatever I do in, yeah. in, in life or like, if I, you know, I want to be a successful manager, trainer, you know, I, I want to be, but everything will stem off boxing club. And there's respect boxing club games, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, my dad can go up to somebody, can, you know, 40 year old, and the respect he gets for giving him his mm. time. You know what I mean? It's brilliant. Mm. And not, not just that, I mean, but we've got a great set up. We've got coaches, officials who volunteer the time, come down for kids. Amateur boxing is, is you know, it's full of unsung heroes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my dad's age, you know, they've been they've given their life to boxing for kids. That's what it's all about. You know, yeah. that's brilliant. Do you feel that a bo- a good boxing club in a community mm. like you know, like this is Brampton, Beelow in Barnsley, yeah. but a good boxing club? Do you think that's important in a community for young kids? You know, who are young teenagers and that? Yeah, def- that's what we've built here. We've only yeah. been here a year. We've built a community. All, all, all those kids, you know, it's that, that's what it's about. And, we're, we're Brampton born and bred. That that's what we're about. And to be here uh, and have a, like a positive impact on local area, it's it's amazing for us. I mean, my dad lives two streets away. Yeah. I bought. I mean, I, I lived there twenty odd years. Like, it's what it's all about. You're going on next year. Yeah, as well, on, yeah. Hey, This this is what it's about. I go out there, there. I'll be like that with everybody. That's that, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah, I've seen it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That that's that's you know we're, we're Brampton. If I were going to do it anywhere. Be, I do it here, yeah. I always said to my dad, well, well, your gym will be in Brampton one day. Yeah. My, dad, my dad tried getting upstairs about 25, 30 years ago, which is dancing now, um, and, and that didn't work out. But we've always tried, whatever come available, but for one reason or another, it never never materialised. But when when this when this come up, we won't go like it go this time, Mike. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, you're 33, Josh. What yeah. would the Josh Whale say to the Josh at uh, 33? Say to the Josh Whale at 16. Um, it's all. It all come. Be patient. Hmm. Well, it's all come for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's all come for. Be patient. You know what I mean? We we we've been through a lot, me and my dad. You know, through his health, through bad decisions, through you know, we've had to bounce back for everything. Um, Everything, Paul. You we feel that uh, in life, uh, I can't explain it. If we were to just stroll through life and not mm. have any bump, bumpy roads or like that, it yeah. won't be worth doing, would it? No, um, de- it's me, man. I am. Yeah. I yeah. don't. I don't take note for granted. I don't. You know, I, I appreciate everything. Yeah. Um, you know, 
you, it's person I am, and I, you, you get what you you reap what you sow. Because you know, I've got I've got respect and of people because they know where I've been through. You yeah. know, I've not had no good. Yeah. You know what I mean? We start, me, my dad, we started in back garden. Yeah, he built me a gym. That's how we started. This is where everything stemmed from. Our back garden. Yeah, me and my dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. For all champions, my dad's trained not just me, other professionals. You know what I mean? It's all stemmed from his back garden. Mm. I, my mates used to come home from school, and that were it. We were sparring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't used to want to come back then. Because they all didn't want to spar your <laughs> Gwyn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you, no. Nobody wants to spar Gwyn. Yeah. But uh, listen, thanks for coming on, mate. No, I've enjoyed good. it today, yeah, mate. Nice good. to see you. Thanks for coming down, You're pal. You're looking well. Yeah.